2016 has been quite a year for Low Sal TV, so without straining ourselves from excessive patting ourselves on the back, we thought we'd share 10 good things about the station. I'm your host, Mallory Sullivan. Coming in at number 10, despite having the smallest budget, Low Sal TV has produced the most original program of any community channel in Orange County in total shows and in total minutes. That's more than Seal Beach, a city twice our size, Costa Mesa, a city 10 times our size, and more than Fountain Valley, Stanton, Huntington Beach, and Westminster put together. And even more than Santa Ana, a city 35 times our size whose annual TV budget is just over $203,000, almost seven times that of Low Sal TV. Number nine on our list is our coverage of local government. Low Sal TV has been broadcasting city council meetings since 1993, but this year we've also made them available as a live stream over the internet. We also provide free airings of the meetings for the Rossmore Community Services District and the Low Sal School Board, both of which are also available on demand on our website, as are meetings of the Seal Beach City Council and the OC Supervisors. Checking in at number 8 is our library of past productions. Over its 30-year history, Low Sal TV has produced and or aired over a thousand shows, most of which are still stored in the station archives, albeit on some strange formats. We have already begun digitizing these productions and plan to repurpose and rebroadcast some, much like ESPN Classic Presentations. Number 7 on our list is Public Access. Public access are shows provided to the station by community residents. While this has been fading and even totally disappeared at other communities, it still remains strong at Low Sal TV. Shows have been provided by the school district, local churches, the state college at Long Beach, and Fullerton. Also, producers like John Underwood keep this tradition alive. The Federal Communications Commission created community television back in 1984 across the country to create programming that would not be available through the major broadcasters. At number six is my personal favorite, our new community calendar. Since September, this new weekly production has been telling us what is happening in the world of local nonprofits and community events. In addition, each week the calendar spotlights a local restaurant and business of the week. This show is ran completely by our student crew and teaches us the importance of weekly deadlines and the coverage of local events. Community events check in at number five. Not just Low Sal City events, and we certainly do many of those, but events from the greater Low Sal Rossmore Seal Beach community. From car shows to Shakespeare, community festivals and leisure world expos, to shows about bands, books, and other arts, no one covers the community like Low Sal TV. Number four on our list is our coverage of sports. Since 1984, Low Sal TV has provided coverage of the local sports scene, from the occasional youth baseball or football events to full coverage of exciting Low Sal Griffin games. This year, we covered 18 Low Sal High contests, football, soccer, basketball, volleyball, softball, and lacrosse, capturing not only the excitement of the games, but the emotions that only happen in high school sports. Supporting local schools has been a hallmark of our community, and Low Sal TV tries to do its part through coverage of school board meetings, school sports, elementary school events, STEAM, and arts, not to mention providing on-the-job training for students interested in a career in video production, the third largest industry in Southern California. Over the years, a big challenge has just been making our content available to all residents and the viewers business owners want to reach. Over 20% alone don't subscribe to cable, and another 30% of people who shop in Los Alamitos or their kids who attend school here live outside the Los Al or Rossmore area and can't receive our signal. Now, through internet technology and a couple partnerships, we not only can provide streaming coverage of the channel, but also live coverage of sporting and community events. This will make our content much more valuable to our potential sponsors. And at the top of our list of the good things about Low Sal TV, the best is yet to come. As we get better at what we do and the community better understands what we're all about, we think we have the chance to create something special for our community for years to come. So that's it for us. Congratulations on a great 2016 and we look forward to working with you on an even better 2017. I've been your host, Mallory Sullivan. Happy New Year, everyone.